Hey, hey, hey. It's Empress Lux Sashay. And I hope you guys are all doing good. I want to do whatever comes out for me. Nothing specific. <laughs> Just whatever comes out. So, let's see. I hope you guys are all doing well. Please like, subscribe if it resonates. If this particular reason doesn't resonate, subscribe. You never know. Um, there may be a reading that does fit you. Um, if it doesn't fit you or doesn't resonate with you, it could resonate with someone else in your life. Or there may be bits and pieces. Never force a reading to be your story, you know. Uh, or maybe it's only certain aspects that correlates to you. Whatever the case may be. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. Here, give me some general messages. General messages. I'll shuffle extra hard. <laughs> okay, so these cards are so big. I'm just going to take three cards. So, okay, we have the World Card Reverse, the Knight of Cups Reverse, and the King of Swords Reverse. Um, so right away, um, some of you guys may have Earth in your chart, um, or Earth in your, uh, Saturn in Earth sign in your natal chart. You may be an air, water sign, like a Cancer Gemini. And then I also see more Gemini energy here and more Earth energy, particularly Taurus. Also fire and air energy. So with all the cards I put was reversed, and believe it or not, um, before I got on camera, I made sure all the cards was upright. So it's kind of saying something here. You guys are seeking closure. Maybe there was some delays in your life. Or a relationship ended and there was no closure. Like, it's, you're feeling incomplete. So, it's kind of making you moody. You're disappointed. And your imagination is being overactive. I'm getting this is probably about a relationship. That was like a lot of emotional control, a lot of manipulation. And now you're facing the inner truth of what this relationship really was. Um, so there's a lot of masculine energy as well. Hmm, I'm gonna dive deeper into this. Spirit, clarify this three card spirit I just pulled. Inside of three cards, which is cool. <laughs> what a shift from today is just terrible. Spirit, clarify the three card pool. The three card spread. Three card spread. Yeah, please don't act like I'm in a bomber jacket like I'm in Alaska. I'm not in Alaska. I'm just I don't know. My readings will tend to have on the jacket or hoodie. I don't know why. Special security. Maybe cold where you guys are located. <laughs> okay. Um, so these are the my tarot oracle cards I made. So right away you got testimony, mirror, and stigmatize. So this coincides with what I felt early that this is related to a relationship that has ended. You may be you may have been in a moment very dignitized by this person, but you're looking into the mirror. Uh and that coincides with the King Swords in reverse where you're seeking that inner truth. So sometimes we gotta look at ourselves in the mirror and take accountability for our own actions and whatever you just went through is truly a testimony. It's truly a testimony. Oh, I was hoping for like a happy reading. Uh, okay. Uh, spirit, specify this testimony card here. 
I don't know why I bother shuffling these cards. They're so like it makes no sense to try to shuffle this. It's kind of difficult to shuffle the um kept the card, at least to me it is. Spirit, clarify the mirror card. Clarify the mirror card. <laughs> Sorry. You might be hard hit just lightning because like I said, it just makes no sense to shuffle these cards. Okay. And now spirit um, clarify the dignitized card. And you know, keep in mind you can be dignitized, you know, I'm gonna say it's a female. You know. They can get dignitized as well. Right away that's oh <laughs> Lovers pull, pull for the dignitized card, which is Gemini energy. For the mirror card, uh, we have distant horizons, and then for the testimony card, house. So this is a real relationship. You guys stay together, possibly a marriage. lovers this relationship was once filled with love but some struggles happen in this relationship and while you're trying to find that inner truth you're looking at distant horizons like what's in the, the, in the future for you and testimony for the house card so whatever happened in this house is your testimony and I um I, I spirit is all oh got um I'm getting maybe with some abuse, emotional, physical, and mental abuse in that house. Um wow. So what you went through in this relationship is definitely a testimony because you survived it. You're a survivor, you know, and you're looking towards the distant horizons and in the lover's card you have the two doves so right away you know you, you were dignitized you was in love with this person but right now you're seeking peace you want the ultimate peace and you know you know in hindsight you might have had the picture perfect relationship but even with this house energy is very dark I'm getting dark energy from there you may be even thinking about relocating I would say I'm relocating somewhere that's international like an international location like maybe um, with a lot of water a lot of water here maybe a um, water sign as well and, and I believe that's an eagle or seagull so from that I see you trying to fly high the numbers 20 36 and 15 may be significant the numbers 12 or 21 or um, 21 maybe significant as well as wow so I got 20 and 21 that's odd so maybe that is your age or maybe how long you were in this relationship oh wait 2021 so did this relationship end last year is that when shit hit the fan you guys may have been with each other since 2015 2015 some of you guys may be 36 as well Spirit's telling me some of you guys are turning to nature, or you should turn to nature, maybe to get grounded. Um, definitely may have earth somewhere in your chart, like a Virgo, Capricorn, a Taurus. I mean, there's a lot of earth energy here, or maybe um, this person was an earth sign. Mm, wow, I have like this crazy sensation over me just now it's like don't worry like 
your situation will get better. It may not see that seem that way um, right now, but it will. What do I want to do? I just flower gas it. Okay. Um, not flower gas. I don't know. That feeling just was like a warm feeling. It just came over me. Okay. Um, spirit. Give me some more messages pertaining to this reading. I don't know. I just got left it. I had a loss of, um, train of thought. Train. You may be traveling someone on a train. Well, yeah. I don't know why I keep getting the energy that someone's traveling to get away from this house. Like, you're relocating, which if I'm getting what the energy I'm getting, I would get out of the house too. That it holds too many memories for you. And it's funny, I did a reading the other day and it was about a family room. So that's really weird. Like you wanted to change the family room. Did something happen in the family room? Or I can get these reverse cards. Okay. So we got the Page of Pentacles reverse, um, the Nine of Cups reverse. Yes, it's player, and then we have um, the Six of Swords reverse. This person was a player. Oh, uh, wasn't committing to you. Was greedy, lazy. Um. But maybe now they're learning from their failure in this relationship. Yeah, this person. Um, mm -mm. See, I got more Earth energy here as well, like double Earth, Pisces energy, and Aquarius energy. So, yeah, this person was a player. But, you know, I feel like you're trying to transition, but you may be finding it hard to change because I truly believe you didn't get any closure in this relationship and you have a lot of emotional baggage. But you gotta work on your inner happiness. Cups, nine of um, nine of cups. It's a lot of emotion here. This is like a really long relationship. It wasn't just like a new relationship. That's why it's taking a toll on you. But I mean, honestly, with this page of Pentacles, this person um, was either very just immature or younger than you, and wasn't offering anything at all, anything substantial yeah, what advice can I provide what, what, what advice can I give to whoever's in this situation right now okay I'll take your spirit spirit what advice can Right. Okay. On another card, Spirit. Any advice? Any advice? The advice? Okay, we have Knight of Wands, Reverse, King of Pentacles, Upright, okay, and Page of Cups, Upright. Um, we have Water and Earth Energy, Aries and Taurus Energy, which is still Earth and Fire Energy, and then we have Cancer and Leo Energy. 
So the advice is to focus on your finances and your emotional stability. Um, maybe start working on like a passion project, like a project that can get your mind off of this. You have too much scattered energy and you're frustrated. So maybe putting that energy into a project will do you some justice right now. Definitely work on your finances that try to be more productive, efficient almost as well. Like, you know, there may be some creative opportunities coming as well. I get why like, some of you guys may need to travel. Maybe it's to get away from this house mode. Um, you know, try to keep yourself balanced. You may be getting some intuitive messages right now. Um, and you know what? After all this, I feel like there may be like a surprise, a really positive surprise. Possibly even new love. So, you know, ground yourself. Work on self-healing. Because, you know, from what I feel here, this is a long relationship. Um, so, that's not something you get over. And I, the bottom of my oracle deck is Divine Feminine. So I think this is definitely a female story. Some of you guys may be going through depression and you want a real relationship like soul connection. Those are at the bottom of the deck. So no more negativity in your life. <laughs> and channel song, Kevin Campbell, I'm ready. I love that song. So you're ready for the real thing. And it's going to take some time. Like, some of you guys may just feel really overwhelmed right now. But this is somebody you were with for a very long time. Do we want to know what the Divine Masculine is doing right now? Some of you guys, like, yeah, some of you guys may be located internationally or are thinking to you want to move somewhere international like an island with water a lot of water maybe Bahamas I know I love the Bahamas or maybe that's where you're initially from spirit what is the divine masculine up to because I just feel like this is I'm getting I'll take these spirit okay Seven of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, his feelings. Mm. I feel like this is too much cards, but okay. Oh, oh, mm. So this person may put you in a third party situation as well. This person didn't need feelings. Yeah, you know, this person is. You know, you may not realize it, but they're heartbroken right now. They probably thought you would never leave. See? And this three of swords signifies, like, divorce. So, that's why I feel like this is a long marriage. Um, justice card in reverse. Yeah, this person, you know, they had a lack of accountability. He's feeling guilty right now, but he was dishonest, and this is his punishment. And then they have a scrimp card here, so maybe they're trying to um, be strong. I have a courage. Definitely there ain't no feelings with this um, two of wands. They have a fear of change, a fear of unknown. I think you two were together for a long time. So, they're trying to play it safe. But, you wasn't playing it right. You know, you lost the person you was with. We have air energy here, particularly Libra. Fire energy, particularly Leo. Uh, Taurus energy. And uh, Aries energy. 
you know what? But with the scrimp card, maybe you were this person scrimped in a lot of ways. Like you nurtured them and now they're losing you. So they have a loss of control of you and the situation. And they're in deep contemplation and thought. Like, look how he's looking like. Granted. And then... Numbers 11, 9, 8, 7, or 2 may resonate. Some of you guys may have, be, have been born in 1987. Wow. 19, yeah, 1987. Or 1972. This person. No, this person played games. This person played games. And by you losing you, they lost their abundance as well. What can my divine feminine expect for their future after this chaotic chapter? I did not. <laughs> okay. Wow, so it's the world <laughs> reversed again. Isn't that weird? Because then we put, yeah, the world was like one of the very first cards we pulled. Um, some of you guys may maybe affinity or you have a tattoo of an affinity. Yeah, the end result is you know. You're thinking personal closure, because like I said, you may have not gotten closure from this relationship. You're still feeling incomplete, though. Why are you still feeling incomplete? Because you didn't get closure from this? You're still feeling incomplete. Oh. When I'm gathering, things just ended. There was like third party energy, and maybe you want to know why. Like, why was not was I not good enough? Yep, tower moment. This is a big tower moment for you. Judgment card in reverse. I'm pulling like literally the same card. See. You feel like the situation was unfair. Six of Cups in reverse. Did you two have kids? Oh, okay, I get it. So you two may have known each other from childhood. So you have a lot of memories. A lot of memories and emotion. And there goes another house in the background. You know, my advice is sell the house, split the profits, and get on about your business. Because, you know, this may have, this has you confused. And if it was real love, real love should have you confused. Never, it should never have you confused. So, I don't think I can get any more messages, any more clear messages from this. Um... Seek closure, seek personal closure for yourself, heal, and move on to this. That is the best advice I can give you. So please, let me know if it resonated.